Underdog Fantasy is the best and easiest place to play fantasy sports and their pick'em game. Sign up now with code Poodle and you'll double your first deposit up to $100 in bonus cash when you make your first deposit of $10 or more. It's simple. Deposit $100, get $100 free. Good luck and have fun. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden 24 franchise video, and today we're going to be going over the top five wide receivers to build in Madden 24. Make sure to head on down below and check out Underdog Fantasy, and make sure to use code Poodle to get your first deposit matched up to $100. Criteria for this list is going to be pretty simple. I include height, speed, age, and of course, excitability. Some, some guys are more exciting to play with. But height speed, height speed age is usually what you look for in a wide receiver. For example, DJ Chark on the Panthers, he's 94 speed, 95 excel, he's six foot three or four, awesome, but he's 26, 27. It's too late. It's too late to build him, not a high enough overall. Uh, you might get a five foot eight wide receiver who's 93 speed rookie, but he's five foot eight. So gotta keep all that stuff in mind. Uh, those receivers get awfully incredibly difficult and like confusing to use because you're trying to throw him wide. You'll throw a pass that you think he's gonna catch he's 99 overall, but he gets bumped and he's not physical enough to hold on to it. And that's besides the point. Let's get into the list. Coming in at number one, we have Chris Olave. He just falls below my threshold for where I'm going to stop including a player in buildability. Chris Olave is a 93 speed, 95 excel sophomore. He was a rookie last year. He's going to get up to about 96 speed, which is insanely fast. He has good agility. And if you go on down a bit more to see some of his other stats, let's see his change of direction, which is going to fall at a 91. So he's going to be able to be, he's going to be good in the open field. He's going to be super fast. And then his route running is all mid 80s, which means he's going to be a well rounded receiver. So, not, not over looking at a route runner that can catch, that can get a go up and get it. He's not the tallest, but he's also not the smallest. He's super solid and he's fast. You really can't go wrong with him. Coming in at number four, we have Jalen Hyatt, rookie for the Giants. Might be slightly biased, maybe not. He has good height. He's like six foot, six foot one, 93 speed, 95 excel. He'll end up at being a 95 speed plus wide receiver at six foot one, six foot ish. So, that's super solid. He hits all the stats you'd want for athleticism. And if we head on down to catching, he's going to have a mid-high catching stat, 77 spec, 75 catch and traffic, which is useful. And across the board, all middle 70 route running, which means right now he's a balanced build. So you can kind of go anywhere with him. You, he's probably a deep threat guy, but I hate upgrading only deep threat. You want to make him, you can make him a wide receiver one. He could be the wide receiver one for the Giants in Madden. So you kind of want to make sure you make him a route runner. You're gonna to want to make him good at making you want him to be able to run every route in the route tree. So I'd probably go route running for him, but he's gonna be a great wide receiver to start with. 70 overall is just at that boundary of like he'll take a lot of work. So he's going to take some work, but wide receivers are always on the easier side to build, not in terms of playing with them, but in terms of their overalls. Like you throw it to them, they can catch a lot of touchdowns. You have a seven, eight, ten touchdown performance. Uh, wide receivers are usually pretty easy to win an offensive player of the year with, best wide receiver with and running backs of course as well but i think jalen high is going to be a great rookie i believe he's like 22 years old so he's definitely right there and being able to be built you really always want to avoid those 23 year old 24 year old rookies to make it a little bit harder but jalen high is going to be great next on the list we have a gem we have trey palmer buccaneers rookie i believe he's 22 years old so he's definitely solid for franchise i'm not sure you know if you're going to pick the bucks to get him you probably want to trade for him in franchise he's 68 overall but at 22 that does not matter you're going to be able to get this guy up route running is pretty much 70 across the board Remember that too, if they're 80 already and they suck at route running, it's going to be hard to do. At a 68 overall, you're going to get those 12 points with some awards and some, you know, record breaking type games. You get those award points pretty quickly. You can make him a route runner. And the key thing with him is if you go all the way back to the front here, 95 speed. He'll get up to a 97, 98 speed pretty easily. Uh, so you're looking at one of the fastest guys in the game. He's going to be only 22. So it's going to be qu quite easy to build up at that point. Even if it takes you a few years, I would definitely be targeting him in just about all franchises where you can the only reason he's knocked down at four on this list is because he's a 68 overall it will take a certain level of player to build him you know a bad user might struggle a bit more coming in number two we have zay flowers for the baltimore ravens similar build to jalen hyatt athleticism wise uh less excel but 93 speed 92 excel he's going to end up being a 95 96 speed so wide receiver again hits that crazy threshold like yeah he's fast he's going to be a number one wide receiver and he's, he's above high because he's a 77 overall to begin with so he's going to have some it's going to be a bit easier and less of a grind to build him because he's going to have some of the other stats you're going to want he's super twitching like glitchy in real life he can really move he can really run around so his agility is 92 his change of direction should be interesting to see 91 as well they don't seem to go too high on those for wide receivers but the key thing is he's going to all his route running starts at an 80 just about and all his catching starts above an 80 you're going to have no problem building this guy day one he's going to be a route runner a catcher he's going to be able to go up and get it he's not the tallest guy but you know how this game is you have a guy with 99 catch like odell back in the day spec catch he's going to go up and get it so this guy can definitely be your wide receiver one 
down the Ravens with Lamar Jackson. Going to be a fun team to watch in real life and in Madden. The number one receiver on this list for Madden 24 franchise is Christian Watson. He is pretty much the Trey Palmer build, but even better. He's got 96 speed, 94 excel. He ends up getting up to like a 98, 99 speed. Last year, I believe he started at like a 94 speed, so he ended up capping it around a 97. This year, he starts at a 96. He probably can cap at a 99. That means that he's six foot four, so he's gonna be one of the tallest receivers in the game. And he's having 99 speed. He's going to be the glitchiest Megatron type receiver in the game. He was last year as well, so it's definitely scary to know that they made him even faster. His jumping's only gonna be about 90, 91 when all of a sudden done. Maybe 92 if you're lucky, so that does hinder him a little bit. I wish he was a bit better jumper, but he's six foot four. It doesn't matter. Uh, but the extra glitchy jumping would have been nice to have on him. And he's also 77 overall now, so he's definitely easier to build. All of his route running starts at just below 80. And his catching is right above 80. So again, you could make him. I would make him a route runner. You could build him physical, but I always want route running. I hate when I have a guy that's like all max catching because if they can't cut off a corner on man coverage, they just feel locked up all game. And to have a 99 receiver that feels locked up all game is always a horrible feeling. Uh, Christian Watson is going to be beast. He's baby Megatron. He's insane. He was he was a killer in this year's franchise. And one thing I do want to note quickly, guys, is that remember this list is fluid in the sense that when you look at all five of these guys. It comes down to what your needs are if you like speed over height if you prefer height over speed if you prefer route running if you like a certain guy more these are all five good receivers and keep in mind this list is fluid over the course of the year things will change let's say christian watson has a horrible year he gets dropped down his speed will still be good but if his overall starts dropping for whatever reason you know maybe you knock him down a bit i don't think christian watson would be the one you knock down though he seems like the one that would stay or Jalen Hyde, for instance, he recorded a crazy fast time in practice. I think it was like 24 miles per hour. Of course, that's not official in-game track, but it is tracked. Let's just say his 93 speed went up to a 95, 96, 97 at six foot, six foot one. Suddenly, we're talking about one of the best receivers in the game, at least off rip to build. So definitely keep that in mind that things can change. So this list is a nice foundation to start the year. Things will change. I will definitely be re-updating these lists as the year go on to make sure I stay up to date with the current trends, rating changes, rate increases. Of course, one of these guys could go superstar or X Factor. They have a great year this year by mid-season, by a few weeks in, week four. So things can change and that could greatly throw someone off this list. So definitely keep that in mind. I just want to make sure that's out there so people don't think like this is the one set final list for the year. But to start off, this is where I would lay the foundation for and then kind of work from there. So to wrap it up, guys, we got we got Olave, Palmer, Hyatt, Zay Flowers, Christian Watson. Those are the five. I think they're all going to be really fun to play with. Obviously, Watson's my favorite. I think Trey Palmer could have easily have been number two, but he's a 60 overall. He's like a free agent type esque build. You're going to have to put some work into him. He's going to be a normal dev. A lot of these guys should have started at least star or superstar. So it's going to make it a lot easier for you. Trey Palmer, things have to go right. You have to have a good rookie season with him and you have to get him debbed early on or else you're going to fail him. By the way, keep that note in franchise. You always got to, you have to hit on these guys early. You can, a rookie with 99 speed, you know, that, that looks insane. Could easily end up being a bust and being like the John Ross type guys. If you don't get them superstar early in their career, or at least star dev. Normal dev's a killer in those early years when it's the easiest time to earn XP. That's what it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment down below your favorite wide receiver build to build. Let me know if anyone that I missed that's like a secret gem. It'd be good for me to know for my own personal franchise. Comment that down below. Make sure to like, comment, and sub. I'm out. Peace.